Good morning, good people. This is your Poolproof Wisdom Moment. Let's take a moment, while we're at it, to talk about self-talk. Now, you all know what I mean. I'm not talking about this world we live in where everybody has an opinion about you, whether they know you or not. I'm not talking about what other people think about you based upon the job you have or the position that you hold or the celebrity that you may have among certain peer groups or whatnot. None of that matters. Now, I'm talking about what you tell yourself that only you can hear, that no one else can tap into about what you think about yourself. And let's face it, a lot of us don't like who we are. A lot of us don't love ourselves. And the things we say to ourselves are definitely not the things that you would say to someone else that you love. They're horrible things. Things that are only about the negative and only about the things that you wish were different about yourself, but feel that you can't somehow control. That voice that speaks to you is your own very personal inner saboteur, and it wants you to fail. And it does this by telling you that you are not lovable, that you are not worthy, that you deserve nothing, that anything that happens in your life is because everybody, despite what they say and seem, really don't think that you are a valuable contributor to the world in which we all live. And we buy into it because who's telling us? The one who is closest to us. We're telling it to ourselves. Now that little inner saboteur is a bitch. <laughs> I'm not going to call it anything else, and I'm sorry if I've offended anyone by using that expletive, but that's what it is. Because the more that we try to convince ourselves that we are worthy, the more it tells us that we aren't. And it wins, because it's not only alive and well during conscious moments, but it creeps into our subconscious and our dreams. We can't even sleep our way out of being told by that saboteur that we are not enough, that we are not worthy, and that people want nothing to do with us. And no matter what we do in this world, it will never, ever amount to anything. So while on the outside to other people, they may see you in all these wonderful lights and tell you that when you hear it from them, you don't believe them. You think they're lying to you because you have already convinced yourself, thanks to that saboteur, that you are nothing, that you are worthless, invaluable, that you cannot imagine having happiness and joy in your life. And when you buy into it, it doesn't matter what anyone else says or thinks. It doesn't matter if it's a good thing that they think about you or if they happen to think that you suck as well. Whatever they say can't possibly compare to what you've already told yourself. And that's frightening. And it's sad because everybody has things about them that are good. It's a question of whether or not the things that are about us that are not are more powerful in terms of the perception we have of ourselves based upon that inner saboteur telling us what is the most valuable aspect of who we are. Now, years ago, I was an entirely different person. My thought processes, the way that I looked at the world, my engagement with people was entirely different. A lot of that had to do with the way that I came up and the levels of distrust that I built based up on the interactions I had with people at that time in my life. When I got to that point when I started telling myself that the only way to protect myself was to separate from them, that's when the inner saboteur got a hold of me and started pointing out what I couldn't do what I wouldn't be able to achieve, who wouldn't care about me. And for a number of years, I let it take control. And the more it took control, the less I was able to do because I didn't believe in myself. I wouldn't try anything. I wouldn't take on anything new. I knew I had skills and abilities and I would convince myself that if I were going to even do something as so simple as take a test, that I was going to fail it because secretly I was convinced I didn't know anything. I had to fight for my life. I had to fight the biggest critic in my life, and that was that inner saboteur. So I fought, and I fought back, and I won. And I began to see things through a different lens that helped me to understand that I did have value. And even in areas where I did not necessarily have the greatest gifts or skills, I took those things at face value, and even if they weren't great today, I began to have hope that they would be better tomorrow. Where there is hope, there is possibility, and where there is possibility, there is an 
option for action that you can grab onto and hold onto no matter how bumpy the freaking ride. And that's what I did. And once I changed to accept all of who I am and the opportunity to become better, the inner saboteur's voice began to die down. Incrementally at first, more and more and more. And now, all these years later, it's not even a whisper. What I hear in myself, when I speak to myself, is that I have value. I am loved. I have abilities. I am blessed. I have faith. I have hope. And I have opportunity. I tell myself this, and it manifests, not because of some magical potion, but because it's what I believe. And what we manifest in terms of our belief system, optionable or not, is often what we give our consideration and thought to. And I believe I'm a winner. And I don't let anyone or anything, particularly that now deceased inner saboteur, tell me any differently. You can do it too. You know, there's an old saying that goes, I ain't what I want to be. I ain't what I gonna be. But thank God, I ain't what I was. You have the opportunity to not be that anymore. Not to let your inner saboteur convince you that you're anything other than a wonderful, worthy individual with an opportunity to become your very best self. How's that for something to give consideration to? And that's your foolproof wisdom for today. Take it, run with it, and run on until you get to the destination where you are certain of who, who you are. Let's try that again. <laughs> you are certain of who you are, what you know about yourself, what you love about yourself, what you like about yourself, and how you're going to use all of that to put more good into this world of ours than you will ever take from it. Have a good day, folks. See you on the next turn.